Using card pages. Card pages are very easy to access from the list page and allow you to see more detail on that particular record. Here, for example, I'm on the customers list page and I've selected customer 10,000, the Canon Group PLC. If I double click that record, it will open up on the customer card. This is now a card page. A card page has the following components. It has a ribbon at the top with tabs. Each tab contains groups of related actions, in this case, all relating to working with a customer. Underneath the ribbon, I have fast tabs. Here we have an expanded fast tab for general and an expanded fast tab for communication, then four collapsed fast tabs. The little arrow at the side lets me collapse or expand the various fast tabs in turn. If I expand them all, I can see every single piece of information currently set up to be shown on this card page. When a fast tab is collapsed, you will see that there are some key points of information that remain visible. The idea is that these are promoted fields. They are more important pieces of information which then will still be visible when we have collapsed the fast tab to save some space on screen. If you then need to work with the payment section, for example, you would expand that fast tab and make the changes that you need to make. Just like on the list pages, a card page has fact boxes. Here the fact boxes all relate to this specific customer and it shows me a summary of the key documents for that customer. So this customer has four orders and these are flow fields. So if I click the four, it will take me to a list page filtered to show just those four sales orders for this customer. Same for the other document types. So there are three posted invoices that if I click, it will be presented to me as a filtered list view. If I double click any of these records, I would then see the card page for that particular posted sales invoice. In the second part of the fact box, I have the customer statistics. This gives me detailed information as a summary view of the customer at that moment with further flow fields that are the relevant financial information at this point in time. Again, if I click the flow field, it will take me through to the underlying ledger entries that produce this balance. This is an item card. This is another card page specifically for one item. Again, we have fast tabs expanded and here collapsed for information this time relating to just one item that we sell. If I switch to sales orders, we will see the same kind of information but focus on a particular sale. Here on the card page for this sales order, we see we have sold these three products to this customer. This is the vendors list page and this can lead on to an example of a card page for one particular vendor. Again with fast tabs expanded and collapsed. And with a fact box on the right hand side for information about that specific vendor that we're dealing with. 